Hello and welcome to my channel Tsuka Cooks. I'm Adela. Today we're going to make no need artisan bread and this is a very simple recipe basic just flour salt yeast and water and it's a um, same day no uh, prep ahead the night before or anything like that so let's see um, if you like this recipe so in a bowl we're going to put three cups of bread flour and you can also try it with uh, all-purpose flour wheat flour which and whichever flour you want then we're going to add a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of yeast and that's it then we're going to just mix it well and then we're going to add the hot water like this I usually leave a little behind just in case the flour doesn't need all the water you can always add to it but you cannot take away so just mix it well no flower spots behind and we'll see here in a minute if we need more water or not so yeah this is uh, very easy and all you do is you have to leave it on the counter not in a warm place just um, on the counter for at least three hours and then you after that you can leave it longer if you wish uh, this recipe this uh, dough does not rise very much so there's no worry it's gonna overflow so yeah All right, so this looks a little dry to me, so I'm going to add some more water. And again, this is a cup and a half of water, but you just never know with the type of flour that you have. I'd much rather add a little water in the end than having a two wet dough and this is pretty much all the kneading we're doing mixing it all right and i think we got it Just make sure that underneath, at the bottom, you get to turn it because that's usually where there might be a little flour left behind. All right, this looks pretty good. We have a shaggy looking dough. And voila. Now I'm going to go ahead and put plastic wrap and a tea towel on top. And I'm going to set it on my counter and leave it there for about three hours. And then we'll come back. It's been four and a half hours for me, and this is what it looks like. It's like jello. So now I'm going to put some flour on the counter that I've previously cleaned. You want to make sure you have enough flour because Remember, this dough is sticky. Now I'm going to use my scraper and get it off the bowl. And now you, what you want to do, with, you're going to sprinkle some flour on top.
like this and then just with the help you just fold it fold it come again fold it the other side fold it over just like that not much else needs to be done here all right now i'm gonna transfer it onto a uh, parchment paper because this dough is kind of soft and it'll be a little difficult to put it into the the baking container i'm going to be using my challenger and just like that all right so here's the bottom of my dutch oven challenger place it in put the cover on and off it goes into a 450 preheated oven for about um, 40 minutes and then we'll take off the lid and let it finish cooking until the desired color has been achieved. So this is what it looks like after 30 minutes. I uncovered it. I'm taking off the paper. I'm gonna put it back. And now it's going back in the oven for another um, 10, 15 minutes or desired crispiness and color. So it's already looking really nice, but I want it a little darker. So I'll probably leave it another 10 minutes and I'll show you when the 10 minutes are up. All right, so I ended up leaving it for seven minutes and this is pretty much the color I like. And ooh, it's hot. So I'm gonna let it cool down and then we're gonna cut it and see what it looks in the inside. Now this is a very quick version of artisan bread made the same day, um, effortless and it, you just need time to let it um, sit and there's no kneading involved so it's really um, easy as usual. I like easy recipes and especially when it comes to bread. I hope you give it a try, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe and hit the bell so you can see future videos. And I thank you for watching. Bye.